In New York City, there is this whole notion because of climate change and rising sea level, we need to put out a big tidal barrier, a storm surge barrier that will keep water out when you have storms. But what is lost in that way of thinking is all the other impacts that happen, which is that if you actually had a storm surge barrier, it changes water circulation completely. Some studies have shown that you end up creating greater areas of hypoxia or waters with oxygen deficiency that end up killing the life on the sea floor. If you don't see the system as a whole, you end up causing other problems that someone else has to pay. A different way of thinking about this, often the objective is to prevent flooding on the streets and to get rid of water from the city, which basically means hardened structures. Storm water overflows because sewage treatment plants can't handle the huge volumes of water that comes out, but that ends up causing pollution on the coast. So if you don't see solutions to a problem as a whole, you end up creating new problems elsewhere, even as you're trying to solve the problem in the first place. When we do that, we almost inevitably miss out on the connections, which sometimes very expensive mistakes.